Hello, everybody, and welcome to this session. Today, I want to talk about pushing yourself into new geographical frontiers. You know, we live in a society, we live as individuals, and we desire to achieve more, to become more, and to create more impact, and, you know, just leave that positive contribution to the society. And many a times, we cannot achieve this in our comfort zone we cannot achieve this in we cannot achieve this by being in the same place where we used to be maybe years ago or months ago one of the best things that you can do to position yourself or to push yourself to begin to operate from that dimension where you can achieve more and become more and learn more and do more great things is for you to in intentionally locations is for you to do what I like to call pushing yourself into new geographical frontiers so you can experience something different. Pushing yourself into ge new geographical frontiers as a professional, as an entrepreneur, refers to expanding your presence, expanding your operations, expanding your activities into new geographic locations or markets that you are not familiar with or moving into a place where it's not your comfort zone but it is a place that will challenge you will, will, will enable you to expand your presence enable you to learn something to expand your activities and try new things now hear this venturing into new cities or new continents, new regions, where you as an individual have limited uh, uh, experience, limited networks can challenge you to become more, can enable you to begin to think creatively and outside the box so you can see how you can take advantage of that new location or untapped market. What are the benefits of pushing yourself into a new geographical frontier as a professional or an entrepreneur? What are the benefits? Quickly, let's look about five benefits. Number one, you are able to expand your network and global connection. You know, many people um, stay in the same spot for so long because they have nobody out of their area, out of their own comfort zone that can challenge them or pull them to another dimension. One of the best ways that you can expand is to move to a new geographical frontier because in that area, you're going to meet people you have never met before. You're going to build new relationships because moving into a new geographical frontier exposes you professionally, exposes you to diverse range of individuals and culture, and you begin to experience and build a new network. And let me tell you something. One thing about opportunities is the more new people, the more relevant people you meet, the more chances you have to have access to opportunities that can lead to your success. Number two, increased market reach and business opportunities especially if you're in business. If you want to increase your market reach, you want to increase access to business opportunities, one of the most important things to do is push yourself to a new geographical frontier. Move to a new town. Go to week for, for weeks. Go to a new country. Go to a new region. A new, but make sure that you push yourself into a new geographical frontier because when you enter these frontiers, it enables you to tap into untapped markets and reach a wider audience. Number three, it enhances your cross-cultural competence. You know, one of the most important intelligence now is what it, what is called um, cultural intelligence, your ability to deal and work with people from different cultures, different upbringing, different understanding, different religious beliefs, and all of that. So one of the best ways that you can is for you to really push yourself 
into new geographical frontiers and meet new people, link up with new people so you can learn about different cultures. Because engaging with different cultures and working in diverse environments, driving conversation with people from different cultures enhances that cross-cultural intelligence. And when you do this, you now begin to position yourself as that, you know, global professional. One of the things that can qualify anybody as a global professional is the ability to command cross cultural intelligence. The fourth point, the fourth benefit of the New York Frontiers is exposure to new innovation happens when what you know and what you don't know interlocks. That is when innovation happens. When what you know and what you don't know interlocks. When you leave your comfort zone with what you know and go to another location, you will see what you don't know. And that gives birth to new ideas and new innovation because new geographical frontiers open, often bring fresh ideas because you see new things. It brings innovative approaches. It brings new perspective. The last point is the, on the benefit of pushing yourself into new geographical frontiers is personal and professional development. Yes, step Stepping into new geographical frontiers challenges you professionally, challenges you personally. It makes you to leave your comfort zone and to, to adapt in unfamiliar environments. When you begin to experience this, that leads to development. So I want to challenge you. Which new geographical frontier do you need to try? It could be just traveling to a city. It could be a ticket and going to a country where they where a country you don't need to struggle to get visa that that could be a start it could be just going for vacation in an area you have never been to just making sure you push yourself and learn a lot because one of the most powerful ways to disrupt your thinking is for you to experience experience new people experience the new core will begin to contribute something powerful to humanity because of what you have been able to learn. Keep building, keep shining. Cheers.